the answer is to find uh, in council the will to work towards a European solution to get energy costs down. And the, the best chance we have right now is to support the Commission's uh, proposals. They're not perfect, and I have many questions about them. The details are still unclear. But if we can get effective uh, uh, price caps, if we can get an effective joint common purchase, this is what would help all the European economies, the Hungarian, the Latvian, and all others. So the answer is not to backpedal and to, to, to lose our resolve in supporting Ukraine and, and opposing Russia. The, the answer and the way forward is to look for how we can more effectively support, not only support our businesses and households through subsidies of one sort or another, but to get actually effective and working price caps of energy coming into the European Union. And unlikely you'll find that solution at this summit. Uh, this summit is a, is a step on the way. Uh, I'm not uh, wholly convinced that we will come to a, 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 a complete uh, 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 unanimous decision today or tomorrow, but this conversation is very important, and the, the important, the import, it's, it's like the sanctions. Uh, after February 24th, Latvia, we argued we need firm and hard and deep sanctions immediately. Not all member states agreed. Well, over time, we now have the eighth sanction package already approved. Um, Time, time sometimes changes opinion, and the important thing is to work in this direction. I will push today, tomorrow, as hard as I can, that we work and that, that we come to a, a, a unanimous decision on having a European solution. But I will especially argue that it's the European solution on energy costs that will help us to maintain the steel, uh, the steel resolve that's needed to support Ukraine. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. The only escalation in the war uh, comes from Russia. Uh, Ukraine is defending itself, and we in Europe uh, are helping uh, to support Ukraine. Uh, we have to continue that support. We have to increase that support. And our supply of arms to Ukraine does not escalate. It is the only chance that the war could re be resolved because the war will be resolved when Ukraine wins the war. There is no other option and we have to maintain that resolve for as long as it takes until Ukraine succeeds. But the fact that uh, Russia already said that EU is a part of the conflict, does it change something for you? No, it changes absolutely nothing. It, it actually doesn't matter what Russia is saying. Russia is in the process of raping Ukraine and destroying or trying to destroy Ukraine. You do not listen uh, to what they have to say. You support Ukraine, you provide them with arms, you provide them with funds, and you maintain that resolve. And this is what we have to do in Europe. Thank you so much. Thank you.